today I'm going to be responding to a recent video by Ariel Scarcella. She's received an awful lot of hate from the queer, trans, SJW community about the fact that she's a lesbian. I've been told I'm transphobic because I like boobs and vaginas and not penises. She sort of needs to recognise that the reason why they're attacking her is because of who she represents, lesbians. It's worth saying something about that if you want to stand up for these people. Who I date is not up for debate. I don't know if this is an American thing, but they seem to take everything personally. One of the techniques I use, which I think is helpful, take a step back and I ask, what is it about what I'm saying that threatens these people? Let's take away all notions that penises are a male body part. Whether you disagree or agree with that, doesn't matter. Does matter. Those who've been following my channel since I first started uploading videos will know that there's no such thing as a lesbian with a penis. The terms male and female are attributes of biological sex, not gender. So even if you subscribe to the ideology of gender identity, you can not reasonably expect people to cease using these terms. We're even going to take away the definition of lesbian. So obviously this is going to make it impossible to formulate any kind of argument around the idea that lesbians as a class of people have a right to autonomy, assembly and association and speech as well. A lot of implications there. What word are we going to use to describe homosexual women if we can't use that word anymore? Why are we the ones that have got to expand the definition? When you consider there's a movement that's been created, the lesbian and gay rights movements to push forward the rights of homosexuals who are historically subjugated. If you're just going to redefine this term or, or forget that it even has a definition, what's the, what's the point of the L or the G? in LGBT. What is the point? Some people define it as a female being attracted to other females. I think Ariel defined it this way because like, on her Twitter she did say that. That's the thing that homophobic people object to. They don't object to women who date male people that are feminine. That's why the UK, for example, Equality Act of 2010 specifically defines homosexuality, bisexuality and heterosexuality sexuality as sex based and is based on European law. And some people say it's women who are attracted to other people that identify as women. A woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. Well what does that mean? In algebra you just strike the terms of both sides and what would you get? It's not logical setting up an argument where you haven't defined your variables. X all of that out, let's just go with the word attraction. There's a conflation being made here between sexual preference and sexual orientation. And it's important to highlight that for the aforementioned reason that there are laws in place to protect these people. In countries like South Africa, lesbians get correctively raped. In countries like Saudi Arabia, gay men get killed. This is a serious issue and we need to stop taking our rights for granted as if they can't be taken away from us because this kind of rhetoric is heading towards a place where it becomes hate speech to say that you're a lesbian or a gay. A big part of attraction is looks. People personally might think I'm ugly because I have a big nose or small boobs or because I'm short. That is okay. You're lending credibility to the queer trans activist claim lesbians are just vagina fetishes, which is really derogatory and pretty offensive and sexist. Body parts is what people are attracted to in the physical sense. The physicality is a big aspect of it. There are other aspects of why lesbians exclusively date women. Can we also be emotionally, mentally and spiritually attracted to somebody? Yes. It's, it's not clear what you're saying. Do I believe that trans women are real women? Yes. I really personally struggle to believe anyone that says that. Can I be attracted to a trans woman who is pre-op? On hormones? Yes, because when a trans woman goes on hormones, they tend to have more feminine secondary sex characteristics. I don't know if you're saying that just to get people off your back or not. Should I then be forced to accept having sex with a partner that has a penis because I'm attracted to her overall? 
No. The only people who don't recognise this are rapists and rape apologists. Primary sex characteristics, vaginas and penises, <sighs> are important to many people. Not all people, but some people. People have the right to turn down anyone for any reason they want. I mean, it's so depressing that this argument even has to be made. Can the physical, mental, and emotional types of women vary? Sexually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Yes. If a lesbian does not want to date or fuck me. On the couch, on the table, on the bar, on the floor. Sorry, I got distracted there. Does that invalidate me being a woman? You are a woman, so you don't rush around needing validation. The same goes for any transgender person. If someone does not want to fuck you, it does not invalidate your identity. It might do, but that's a their problem, not a your problem. Nobody's responsible for validating the identity of somebody else, even if they do want validation. It's their problem. They need to address their own issues and stop imposing on other people. Why are we even pandering to the idea that, that anybody is entitled to be validated. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody should be coerced into having sex with anybody. This is rape culture that this even needs to be explained, that rape is wrong, because that's what you're saying, rape is wrong. Yeah, of course it's wrong. The irony is, is this is coming from these so-called progressive lefties. It is our individual choice and prerogative who we want to date or fuck regardless of sexual or any type of attraction to them. <sighs> the reason why L and G exists because this is a collective movement of people with common interests not to get beaten up, correctively raped, killed, forced to engage in heterosexuality and otherwise subjected to detriment that's what that movement's about if you're not gonna stand up for yourselves what the hell is the point dating naturally is discriminatory yeah and homosexuality is exclusionary you are not entitled to sex nobody's entitled to tell lesbians or gays that they're not allowed to be lesbian or gay if i was straight and thought some dude was fucking hot does that mean that he has to expect sex with me does that give him the right for him to force it upon me no it's just really concerning that that this even needs to be explained especially that it needs to be explained to the one group which is supposed to be where lesbians and gays can feel supported. This is the one place and it's being taken away. I do think overall it's super important to note that I rarely, rarely get any shit from actual trans women, which is super interesting. Well, it depends how you're defining actual trans women, but if you look at my um, video on the DSM-5, you'll find that people like Riley J. Dennis, who many refer to as trans, trenders could easily to get a diagnosis this is not just about what you think what i think it's about the law that's what activism and advocacy has always been about the law not about individuals maybe because they are actual women they don't feel as entitled I'd love to see you define an actual woman i don't think you can define it in the way that you're using it without using the word woman in the actual description. I'm gonna get shit for saying this, but I'm also gonna get shit for posting this video, so I'm just gonna go with it. Trans men and most other genders, apparently, in my experience, tend to be way more aggressive in telling lesbians how they should define their sexuality. That's not my experience. The majority of hate comments I get are from explicitly homophobic and sexist and blokes and self-defining trans women I suggest you go and have a look at my um hate comments edition video yeah i'm really surprised to hear you say that and how to feel on their attractions and it's not okay and i'm sick of your shit and i'm calling you out either you're on the side of lesbians or you're on the side of queer trans activists and there's really no way around that you can't please everyone you certainly can't please the queer trans lobby if you're not willing to recognize that the reason we have made these strides that we've made is because people before us fought for legislative changes that can be taken away 